Hey guys, Spartan 5 here. I'm here with an all about mining and 7 days to die console. I've been asked to make a video similar to this, on the lines of this, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to try to go through everything about mining, everything you guys need to know that I think will help, and try not to make it too boring if I can. So anyway, let's start with the basics. Let's start with stone. And to mine, you're going to need a stone, you probably start off with a stone pickaxe. That's what we're going to start off early with. So let's go ahead and bring that down. Uh, you're usually gonna have a stone pickaxe. You can have a iron pickaxe or a steel pickaxe. Steel is the best, of course, but stone can be found anywhere. In these big boulders right here, you just walk up to it and start whacking it. You're getting stone. You're also gonna get raw iron from this too, and that's important. We're gonna cover iron in this video too, so if you just whack it enough, you're gonna get stone. Now, when you get this raw iron here, you can go and scrap that, and that goes to your iron bit. That just goes right to iron. You can also throw that in the forts if you want to. So, we have stone now, and what you need to... And you can use stone to make a lot of different things, but you need stone and clay soil to make cobblestone rocks. And cobblestone rocks is a very important part in this game. So, next up will be cobblestone rocks, and or I'm sorry, it will be, will be clay soil. So, let's go on the map. And if you look on the map, you're going to see all these different colors of stuff. So there's a cluster of clay soil. Let's go right here, straight ahead to the right. Let's go up there. You can kind of see it straight ahead right here. And it looks a little different. It's going to be this kind of different color right here. And you just start going for it right here. And uh, we'll dig some up. There's clay soil. Now it looks different if you're just in grass. It's just going to dig up dirt dirt fragments so clay soil looks like that right there it's called lump of clay I have a whole bunch of it uh, and so if you take this go to small stone or lump of clay I'm gonna go lump of clay click on recipes very top one is cobblestone rocks so um, I don't have any let's go and get some crafting real quick So once you get some cobblestone rocks crafting, you can go to recipes and you can make flagstone blocks. Now these are, I highly recommend making. Uh, I'm going to make, I think I already have some down my inventory so you can craft some of those. Bring these down and build with these. Build your base with them and you can upgrade using the lump of clay. So take your lump of clay, come up here, upgrade these. Boom. Um, I'll show you the difference real quick. I've showed it in a different video, but I'm going to show the difference. This is 500 hit points, 1,000 hit points. That's very easy to do. Right there in just a couple minutes, I've showed you guys how to upgrade that. There's some more clay soil right here too. So, Okay, guys, next one I'll cover is coal or call it charcoal. Some people call it charcoal, but we'll call it coal. Uh, if you look on your map, these little black things. So these black things right here are boulders. They look a lot bigger, but the smaller ones, and I, I'm trying to zoom in a little bit, but... The smaller ones right here, if you find these on the map, they look like this, and they're just coal. So you just go ahead and mine these, and you're going to get coal. Uh, coal can be used for gunpowder. It can also be used to put in the forge and the campfires. It burns a lot longer. So that right there is coal. And all this is is like a surface deposit kind of thing. If you see what I do, I'm going to dig this down. It's not like the current alphas where there's stuff below it. There is just dirt fragment below it. So you can just get the surface is all you can really get. It gives you just a little bit. You know, if you're out running around, you run into these, I would just harvest them as much as you can. All right, guys, next. And this one's kind of hard to see on the map. I'll go and pull it up on the map real quick. It's a, it's a little tiny white speck almost, but here it is right here. It looks just like the coal almost, a little more white, but it is nitrite powder. So grab that, grab your pickaxe, whatever you're using, grab the, and uh, basically harvest it. And but then below, if you have an auger, you can you know, use the auger too and take it. Make sure you have enough gas, of course. Like I said, this kind of goes below the surface. And oh, there's a bird's nest there. So let's um, let's go find some more stuff to show you guys real quick. Okay, so next are the caves. And I have a cave right here. We're going to go and jump down there real quick. I recommend going in these uh, with plenty of ammunition because there usually are bears down here. Right here, these are going to be nitrate here. You can So good place to get a lot of nitrate powder right here. Um, and the way, the way I found this on the map is if you pull up your map, it's a square. Um, you can kind of see my, my arrows kind of blocking it. Let me back up just a little bit. But these square kind of black things, these are the caves. 
and I'm pretty sure this is a cave right here too. I think I've checked it out before, but uh, we'll go ahead and go down there and check it out real quick, show you guys if you've never been inside a cave before. Uh, usually there's a bear, so just be ready for that. This is all nitrate powder, so if you're on the hunt for nitrate powder, definitely grab it. What's nice about this too, all of this stuff is stone. You can grab all of this. You don't have to dig at all. It's all stone. If you have the auger, this is a great place to get a ton of stone or just the pickaxe. Grab your pickaxe, come get a bunch of stone. Going down just a little bit further now. As you can see, it keeps going down. You got these little kind of offshoots and stuff you can check out. Um, we're gonna have to drop down there, it looks like it. I'm pretty sure the bear is up here pretty close. I haven't, um, more nitrite powder. All these are nitrite powder. Well, usually there's a bear in these caves, but there's not one in here and I have not checked this one out before. So this is all stone and nitrate powder grab it i mean this is a great place to harvest it and you can dig down further here. if you want to dig down further in these caves you can run into other like lead and uh, all kinds of stuff if you're looking for lead just keep harvesting it okay looking on the map here this is the other cave i was talking about you can drop down over here i don't know if this is two separate caves or just one cave and this is a random gym map by the way so this isn't nava's game but yeah this is one of the caves you can drop down in. Here's another pocket right here of something. Let's, that's nitrate powder. Just grab that. All right, so this one has two different offshoots. So you can check out both of them if you want. I think this one just goes up here and ends. A little bit of nitrate powder right there. All right, we dealt with these zombies, that little wandering horde. Oh, that's a long drop. So this one goes into water. Um, I don't think I want to drop all the way down here, but you can drop down here and check them out. I mean, there's different pockets of ores in these things. Sometimes it can be a little hard to get out of. I don't know that I can even get out of this one. I'm trying. But sometimes if you have the auger, you can kind of dig your way out of these things. Like this. There we go.
Okay, guys, next I'll show you how I do kind of quick mine shafts. And let me deal with this zombie real quick before... We got two of them over here. I don't want them falling on my head. So I like to just pick a spot. I'm going to pick it inside these boulders because I feel like this is kind of a mineral rich kind of area. If you find them on the map right here, there's these little brown spots. Uh, with, it's where the clay soil is. There's another good one right down here. In fact, let's go down there real quick. That looks like a pretty good spot. Let's run down there. So it's usually like a cluster of boulders kind of like this. And I have been able to find different pockets of you know, like different like lead and stuff like that. And so let's just, so what I do is I take the auger. You can also use the shovel if you want, but I'm gonna use the auger here just for time. And they drink straight down. Okay, so now we're into the stone and the iron, as you can see. It's a great, great way to get stone and iron. Okay, we hit an all-iron uh, cluster right, right here. This is all-iron right here. So I just ran into iron. We've already so this is already paying off pretty well. Let me grab my pickaxe, bring that down. So these little veins right here, that is all iron right there. So now we've already got into iron. So great way to grab some iron. Let's go down a little bit further though. And you know, I kind of found a pocket of clay soil. So if you dig down to where you can find the clay soil, that's kind of where I found it. Okay, I think that's good. So bring some frames. It can be any type of frames. I'm going to use flagstone blocks. That's what I have. And then you're just going to start nerd pulling your way back up. There's the iron pockets right here. So you can, if you want to, you can start mining here. If you're looking for iron, depending on what you're looking for. Okay, now we're out. So what I'm going to do, and I brought some repair kits. I'm going to go repair this auger real quick. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig down directly next to this one right here. And we're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to nerf. Go down. And I should have mentioned, I kind of did this wrong. You want to go down... Uh, not diagonal like I did. You want to go down to the side to the side of it like this. So we'll do this again. Make sure you have plenty of gas. Okay, now we made it to the bottom of this one. So this is kind of the tricky part. You got to give yourself a little bit of space. So you want to basically put some ladders in here. So you might have to dig down a little bit further on this one right here, just to give yourself some space to put these ladders in. Like about yay. So if we do that, we should be able to build our way back up. Okay. And all you're going to do is you're going to start putting in ladders all the way up. And that's just going to be your mine shaft. Okay, now we have a kind of a... Okay, I kind of fell down for a minute. Don't fall down your own mine shaft, but I fell down. We'll have to make a split real quick. But there is the mine shaft there, and you can build kind of a little shelter around this if you want to keep the zombies out of you. The, the auger does attract zombies, but we know there's iron down there. So all you got to do is go down here, and let's see if I can do this ladder without killing myself. Go down here if you want, and then just kind of start building a, a mine down here. Okay, so we have uh, tons of iron. We got 341 iron. You can scrap that in the regular iron. But yeah, just start mining this until you start running into the minerals or the, yeah, the, the, the resources that you want. Okay, guys, so these mine shafts are great for finding, you know, iron, stone, lead, um, all of that great stuff. I think you can find nitrate powder. I've never found nitrate powder th that deep, but you can find nitrate powder, I'm pretty sure, and coal down there, but definitely lead and iron. You'll find those down there. You can also find them in the caves like I showed you. 
uh, explore those caves. Make sure you're well armed, of course. And if you and if you can also scrap lead or find lead throughout the map, and brass, of course, is found throughout the map also. But this has been kind of just an intro tutorial to just mining and stuff. And just look at the map. I mean, that's your give you your best friend. Little coal deposit. These are going to be boulders, of course. But these little coal deposits are here, and then the nitrate is just kind of scattering these little white these little white things here. That's going to be scattered all along. And then check out these are all your caves. These these square, uh, big square things. So check those out. Uh, like I said, there's two on this random gym map. Um, so yeah, that's like I said, it's going to be your best friend. Um, if you guys have let me. If you guys want to let me know what you want to see next, let me know. I plan on making kind of a crafting, an intro to crafting and stuff like that. But that's going to be your mining. Uh, I usually don't do a whole lot of mining in my playthroughs just because I'm looting so much. But these mine shafts are great to make below your base too. If you're in the ranger station, just start digging down below your base. You can make a mine shaft. You can mine at night. Just if you're using the auger, just remember that attracts screamers. So just be ready. You know, you, when you get done mining, you might have a cluster of zombies outside. So that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you guys later.